Malulabar Coast Guard was contacted by a contractor in conjunction with AMSA to see if we could provide a vessel to enable checks to be done on red sector lights of the Point Cartwright Lighthouse. First thing we need to do is we need to come out to nine nautical miles. Yep. And we need to steam away from the light. Yep. And see at what distance we lose it. Yep. And then turn around and come back at the light. Yep. And see when we pick it up again. We want to mark those two waypoints. Lighting effect. Um, so, but prior, what we want to do is if we can come out um, and say, I'm happy. Checks needed to be done prior to and then after the upgrading of infrastructure on these lights. Now there is potential that we could get as far as 10 nautical miles and we still see it. Yep. I don't want to know anymore. This included the bearings that both the existing and new lights were visible through and the range of visibility of the lights. Prior to the widespread introduction of GPS and accurate chart plotters, the characteristics of lighthouses were vital in enabling sea areas to safely navigate around the coast. They are still very important aids to navigation but the navigator of today has a number of other aids available he can use, as well as the lights and their sectors. Red sectors of lights usually indicate when a vessel is approaching land where there are a number of hazards to be taken into account, such as islands, reefs, shallow waters and other dangers. Smaller vessels may be able to operate in these areas, but larger ships may have to completely avoid them and Port Cartwright Light is vitally important for shipping as they approach the entrance to Moreton Bay and pick up the pilot. The first of these checks was done on Tuesday evening the 18th of June with follow-up checks to be done on the 19th. Conditions were good with a moderate southwest breeze giving shelter from the land and accurate information was obtained with contractors and AMSA representatives aboard to verify the finding. This, along with many other community-based services, are part of what Malulabar Coast Guard and its volunteers undertake, as well as assisting vessels and seafarers in trouble, and is a vital service for the area.